Cloud Sonnet 4.5 was just released and in a previous video I've given you guys a first look at what it can actually do and how fast it was compared to Opus and GPT-5. Now in today's video I would like to further test it. Now the first test I would like to see is a piano web app that allows me to use a MIDI controller like this one. This one shouldn't be that hard because all it needs to do is synthesize piano sounds using the web audio API which is already built into most browsers and respond to keyboard presses, mouse clicks and MIDI controller input to play notes at different octaves and velocities. Anyway, here's the result, a very nice or almost nice looking UI. Also, we have to make sure that we allow our browser to use the MIDI devices or controller. And there we go, we have the MIDI MPK Mini 3 and we can press keys. And we can play something like She takes the world up the shoulder. Now almost every component in this app is working. The volume controller or slider is working, the octave setting is also working, and the sustain is also working. And as you can see, clicking on these notes is also working. So overall, I would say that Claude Sonnet 4.5 did a very good job in this first test. But yeah, this bug right here make it look like Claude Sonnet 4.5 can't do web design just yet. I also noticed that Claude really liked using the purple gradient. I created another app after this and it did create the same background. The purple allegations are real. Now let's move on to the next test. This time I'll be doing the tower defense test. Here's the prompt that I used just in case you would like to try it yourself. And this project took like five minutes which is super impressive because Claude had like 12 tasks to finish and the result is pretty impressive. I mean, it's not as impressive as Kimi's OK Computer, but Claude Sonnet 4.5 managed to make this one in just one prompt with sound effects, projectiles, and particles when enemies die. And <laughs> look at that. That is hilarious. But then again, there were like issues or minor issues like the tower's rotation was wrong or the game already started when I haven't even pressed the start button. But then again, those things can be resolved in just a few prompts. Now the next project is to build a full stack social media app. And I wanted to do this to see if Claude can finally make a full stack app in just one prompt, okay? because in the previous model, it was not able to do that. This project took like 5 minutes and 30 seconds. The same thing, almost the same. Again, super fast compared to other models. And the result is this. Social connect. <laughs> Facebook, I'm c Here we have to sign up. Is this the end? Am I about to like... <gasps> And here we have to sign up, so let me just fill up the following form. Now let's just click sign up and okay, we are now logged in. The authentication is working perfectly. Now I'm gonna save you some time. I've used this app and let me tell you that everything is working perfectly. I tried editing the profile, posting, liking a post, commenting on a post, creating a new account just to search my profile, and no issues at all. Now one thing I would have liked and appreciated though is an upload feature for the photo. But regardless, this is very impressive. Now the next test I would like to see is if Claude can make a landing page like one of those landing pages from AWW Wards, if you know that. Because I feel like we've, we've been seeing a ton or a lot of impressive models, but they still can't make or create well-designed landing pages. I mean, after seeing the social media app earlier, I have doubts that Claude would be able to create a landing page that I'm hoping to see. Yeah. Okay, so here is the result. We have a loading page. Oh, oh, where'd that go? Okay, so there are problems with the animation and I'm pretty sure that can be resolved or those can be resolved. And it looks like it looks like we have an interactive background that moves when you move the cursor. That is really nice. It also changed the cursor to this weird choice, but I'll take that. 
Now, if we scroll, we can see that there are scroll effects happening, or should I say transitions. We also have these images that are magnetized to our cursor, which is what I wanted to see. And below this, we have the gallery with hover effect. But the problem I see is it is not draggable. So if I have more than 10 images, I'm pretty sure this is not going to work. And now let's see if it's mobile responsive and yeah. It is not mobile responsive. We can see here that the navigation menus were not replaced by a menu button. We can also see that the active state for these buttons were not properly set. And I tested if I can drag the gallery images and no, like I said, they're not working. So with that said, we are still very far from having a good model that could make a nice web design. Honestly, it's still a very impressive model and I would definitely use this for my project. In fact, I already did. Yesterday, I worked on my portfolio site and I asked Claude Sonnet to upgrade my app to Noxt 4 and it did help me. And then after all of that, I spent more time with this model and created tools like pathfinding and a shell that displays a black hole it was pretty good, but when I looked inside, it was just a bunch of echo statements. Anyway, that is Claude Sonnet 4.5. Now let me ask you a question. Do you think that this is the best model now? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed watching this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Weekly How for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.